Hey guys, okay, as promised, here is the demo for the uh, autumn specific gels that I've brought in for you. Uh, I've got my little swatcher ready to go here. Luckily, I have a million of these super duper long tips that I will never be able to wear on my own hands. Um, but yes, so I'm okay. I am really, really excited to be able to bring these. Uh, I have been looking at them for a little bit of time now and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so pretty, they're so pretty. I uh, need a reason to be able to do this and autumn is it. I am so excited. I brought these in. I brought five, five shades of this gel product in. Uh, I brought three of them in specifically to create a, a, a very specific look for a nail and that is tortoise shell nails. I love them. I think they are classy year round. I think they are ultra gorgeous for fall. They go with a ton of the autumn collection dips that I have coming for you guys on the 10th. Um, and I just, I, I love a tortoiseshell nail. So what I'm going to do is show you the three products that I have uh, for this look specifically. And then at the end, I'll show you the other two shades that I have, which are on their own are gorgeous. I didn't bring them in for any specific look. I only brought them because I think they're beautiful and versatile and all that other stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you the gels and I am bringing them in only in eight mil bottles because I've never run out of a color of gel as a home user. I don't really think other than like base and top coats that you really need, you know, 15 mils of a specific gel color if you're not, you know, working and doing other people's nails. Anyways, so I'm able to keep the price point lower on these because they are less product. And I think that's um, kind of a bonus because then you can get a bunch more of the colors that you like. I am going to be bringing in more shades. I just thought that for autumn, the ones that I have in right now are perfect. Um, okay, so they are these beautiful transparent gels. Oh, I love them so much. I love jelly nails. I love warm tone nails. So like a warm tone jelly nail, perfect. Uh, this one is a little bit deeper. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the tortoiseshell look with these. Um, and then the deep brown. I love them. I love them so much. I haven't labeled them yet because I haven't... Um, I just haven't printed my labels yet to stick them all on here, but I will. Um, and also for the tortoiseshell, it depends what kind of look you're going for. I'm going to make it a bit more dramatic for the tutorial, but if you're just doing it on your own nails and you don't need to worry about contrast so that people are seeing exactly what you're doing, you don't really need to add a black gel. Uh, but I am going to use black just to show you guys how to to like just so you can see it better uh, via the tutorial um, but you can use like any black nail polish you can use a paint pen if you do like the deeper color in the middle of the like tortoiseshell splotchy areas okay I'm gonna show you now so what I do first I am of course going to take a base coat um, because these are gels so they do need a base coat um, so I'm gonna do a quick base coat on here I just threw together this like nail stand quickly and I'm using like a, a, a tape circle, you know what I mean? Those like glue circles and it, it doesn't hold it all that securely. Okay, I'm gonna cure this real quick. Okay, we're all cured. So what I'm going to do first is use the lightest amber shade that I have and it is going to be shade number 88. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be bringing in more shades of this and I'm going to be just numbering them because uh, quite honestly, guys, the amount of brain power it takes for me to come up with names for all of the dips is astronomical. And I just, if I'm going to be bringing in gel colors too, I just, I, I can't name them all. I can't. I just, my cup runs dry when it comes to <laughs> shade names. So they are all going to just be numbered and we're going to, you know, go with that. So this is shade 88, which is the lighter amber color. Uh, and I'm going to do one good healthy coat of this shade. And I am a bit shaky because I've had nothing but coffee today, so I apologize.
All right, and I'm going to pause real quick. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm gonna cure this layer and then come back and show you the second layer and how I add the other things in for this. All right. Okay, that layer is all cured. So I'm gonna get ready for doing the second layer of shade 88. And I'm gonna do that by getting my deepest, darkest shade, which is 81, is the dark brown. And I'm gonna put just a little bit on my, uh, the top of this other new gel product that's coming that I'm not gonna show you yet because it's not ready. And I, I'm just, I'm gonna just, you know, keep this one for, for another little surprise later. And I'm also gonna get the deeper amber shade. Put a little bit of that down. And then again, like I said, for the purposes of it being on a video, I'm gonna put a little bit of black gel down. But again, you could do this like black step with polish, a paint pen, or gel if you want to. It's just to add a tiny bit more higher contrast um, in the tortoise shell and for you guys to see on the video. So you can do this part with um, a dotting tool, a fine brush. I'm using a dotting tool because I have one at my disposal right here. Um, so I think this part is what's key to making the gels blend together and look more authentically uh, tortoise shell rather than just, you know, like kind of lazy cheetah print. Um, so I'm going to take a second layer of this 88 and I'm going to put it on pretty thick so that it kind of has um, some movement in it. So I'm floating quite a bit of this on. It's a thin gel, so you don't really have to worry about um, the thickness of the nail, especially because, you know, we're used to dip nails, right? So a couple layers of gel is nothing to us. Oh my goodness, I need to eat a calorie. I'm just, the shaking is really uncontrollable at this point. Okay, so I have a healthy amount of that Shade 88 Amber Gel. So then I'm going to take my dotting tool before without curing and I'm going to dip into the somewhat deeper amber shade and I'm going to just put some on there, just dot it around and let it kind of flow and run around in that uncured base. Again. And it kind of acts as like sort of a bit like a blooming gel underneath if you don't cure that first base color. And I'm not gonna put a ton of this one on because you don't really need it. It's just nice for a little bit of extra dimension. But I hope you can see kind of how it's like running around in there. Okay. And then again, without curing, I'm gonna go into my darkest brown. I'm gonna load this up and then I'm going to put that as well into this uncured bit. There is construction outside of my window right now, today, of course. Uh, so if you can hear that, I, I deeply apologize. It's It's been annoying me all day. I can't imagine it's not annoying for you guys. Oh my gosh, you know what? To speed this up, and because I don't mind if I contaminate my bottle, I'm just gonna dab some on there by itself because I'm not gonna keep transferring it. So you can see 
that it is just kind of flowing and spreading on its own here. Kind of cool. And then I don't actually think that I need it, but I am going to add just a little bit of the black so that you can, can see the depth of it. Grab just a little bit more of the super dark brown and a bit of that because I'm running out of my dark brown again. All right, I think that's good. I think I'm ready to cure. Okay, I'm gonna pause, cure this, and come back and show you guys the top coat. Hey okay, guys, all those layers are cured, and I'm going to top coat and then show you the very end. Uh, while this is curing, while the top coat's curing, I'll show you the other two shades that I have in these transparent gels that are coming with the Autumn Collection. Um, I just think they're absolutely beautiful. One of them is definitely another Autumn shade, and one of them is a shade that um can be used year round i mean it's gonna it'll look beautiful in autumn with a lot of the dips that i have coming for you and it'll look beautiful just on its own i really do and always have loved jelly nails i don't know why they've just always called to me so okay i'm gonna pop this in the uh easy bake oven and i will show you the other shades all right that is curing so okay i will just show you real close um the shades that i used for the tortoise shell uh this is shade 81 this is the deepest brown and can you you can't super tell that it's transparent on here but you can obviously when it's on the nail um so yeah that is shade 81 and then the second deepest amber is shade 91 and this one yeah you can definitely tell there you can see my fingies through it and then the lightest shade, which looks fairly orange here because I did three coats just to do uh, a proper swatch because I always do three layers of everything, um, but obviously only use two layers of it on the tortoise shell. This is shade 88, and this is the lighter amber. And then the other two shades that I have, um, this is the one that is like fall specific and it's, it's just to complement the rest of the dip collection. This is shade 56 and it is like a jade kind of like cypress green. I just, I love this color so much. I think I'm gonna have to use it in, not my next manicure, but the next manicure because I'm dying to put tortoiseshell on my actual nails. I'm all prepped for it anyways. And then the last shade is shade 94. And this is kind of in between a pink, kind of in between a red. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's a pinky red. Um, and I, I, it could be used, you know, for summertime bubblegum nails. I love it. I just love this color. I think everybody needs to have some pink or red, depending on which way you lean, jelly nails at some point. Uh, and I also think it would make a gorgeous uh, French, like if you wanted to do an alternative uh, French nail, use this for your tips. I think it would just be absolutely beautiful. Um, all right, so our tortoise shell nail is cured. It's top coated, it is ready to go. And that is the final result. I'm gonna pop it off of here so I can show you without the, ooh, gross. Okay, that is the tortoise shell. There you go. Look nice on the thumb, ooh, baby. But yeah, I can't function with nails that length anymore. I used to be able to, I can't anymore. Anyways, so those are the specific fall autumn gels that I brought in that I am in love with and so excited for you guys to use because tortoise shell, I think, should be on everybody's list of manicures that they want to do because it's it's beautiful. I love it. All right. And this, like I said, this is the other gel product that I'm bringing. I'm not going to show it to you yet. I'm not going to launch it yet because like you can only launch so many things at a time. I'm not looking to drain anybody's wallet because you guys are all going to want this. Um, but I'll, I'll leave it for a later date. Maybe I will launch it with my birthday sale so you can get it on a sale. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 
Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me and take a look at the new products that are coming. Um, I will talk to you in the comments, talk to you on the Facebook group, Instagram, TikTok, all the places. Um, I will link everything down below. You can get a hold of me however you need to. And we will talk later. I love you guys. Bye.